My name is Joe Diefenbacher. Welcome to How to Learn Slapstick. In this video, you'll learn front, back, side, and fish falls. These falls can be combined with trips, slips, wobbles, and slides. Many slapstick sequences use front, back, side, and fish falls, so learning these moves is crucial for developing good slapstick choreography. What? Oh, it's time for class. Come on, let's get started. Start on your knees, bring your hands up, then bend your body slightly and reach down to the floor and drop down as if you're going into a push-up. The technique for the front fall is to reach out and catch yourself with your hands and then lower yourself to the floor. This is why you need good upper body strength to do a front fall. This time, keep your body straight from the waist up. Let yourself drop over, reach out with your hands, and lower yourself down to the floor. As you drop, make sure you turn your head sideways so you don't bang your chin or your face. Ow! Once you feel comfortable doing the fall, practice waiting a bit longer before you reach out with your hands. When you wait longer to put out your hands, you'll feel more of the impact on your hands, your wrists, and your chest. Once you're comfortable doing it from your knees, try it from a standing position. Start by bending over and reaching out towards the floor. Catch yourself from a short distance. Then lower yourself to the floor. When you first try the move from standing, pushing your hips back and reaching out lessens the momentum and the impact of the fall. When you're comfortable with this, try it again, but this time don't bend over as much. When you're ready, try the front fall with a straight body. You can also add a bit of wobble before you fall, as if you're about to faint. When doing the front faint, bend the knees towards the floor and lean back with your upper body. This will slow down your descent and create less impact on the knees. Then drop your body forward and catch yourself the way you did with the front fall. In the side feint, you arch your knees and your hips towards the floor and lean your upper body in the opposite direction. This will slow down your momentum. You catch yourself on your hands, the outside of your thigh, and your hip. As you feint, keep your body arched away from the floor. This will help to control your momentum. The arch also helps to lessen the impact. When you land, you roll out from the hands to the outer part of the thigh, the hips to the upper body. As you land, turn the body slightly so you land more on the butt cheek rather than the hip bone. Oh! You can delay the move and add a bit of comedy by wobbling around a bit before you faint. The side fall is similar to the side feint. You land on the outside of the thigh, the butt cheek, and then roll up along the torso and up to the shoulder. In the side fall, as you move your outer thigh and your butt cheek towards the floor, 
you lean with your upper body in the opposite direction and then reach out with your hands to help catch yourself. Arching away from the floor helps to control your momentum and spreads the impact out across your body. Keep your arm arched as well. The last thing to make contact with the floor is your hand. Keeping your arm arched means you're less likely to bang your elbow. Remember to smack the floor with the palm of your hand, not the back of your hand. This will keep you from bruising your wrists and your knuckles. When doing the side fall from standing, step behind the leg, arch the body away from the floor, bend the front knee and lower yourself towards the floor, and then roll out to the outer thigh, to the butt cheek, to the upper body, and then the arm, and finally the hand. In this version, as you lower yourself to the floor, you reach down with your hands to help catch yourself and then roll out your upper body. If you're having trouble with the big arch, this version might be easier to start with. It will help you to understand the mechanics of the rollout in the side fall. When doing the side fall, maintain a strong arch throughout the move. Don't let your body collapse when you hit the floor. This will keep you from banging your ribs or your shoulder. From the arch, you then control when you let your body collapse, both your upper body and your legs. For the back fall, you step back with either leg, bend at the knee, and lower yourself towards the floor. Bend over and lean in the opposite direction of the fall. This will help you to control your momentum and the fall. Reach back and down with your hands towards the floor. You catch yourself first with your hands, then your butt, and then you roll out onto your back. Throughout the fall, keep your upper body arched forward and keep your chin tucked into your chest. This will protect your back and your head. Also, if you want to go from a back fall into a backward roll, your body is already in the right position. The same technique applies even if you don't do a back roll. Keep your upper body arched inwards and roll out your spine across the floor and keep your legs flat. When you first do the back fall, bend your knee as much as you can to lower yourself as close to the floor as possible before you drop down onto your butt. Here it is in slow motion. You step back, you lean your upper body forward, you bend at the knee to lower yourself towards the floor, reach back with your hand, land on your hand and then your butt and roll out onto your back. In this version, as I lower myself to the floor, I reach down with both hands. So I land with my hands first, then my butt, roll out onto my back and then control the way I drop my legs. Once you feel comfortable with the technique, speed it up. In this version, I act like I've been hit. Watch how my body arches back in reaction to the hit and then leans forward to set up for the back fall. Start on your hands and knees, turn your head to the side, and then lay the side of your face against the floor. Lift one leg and then, using your arms, lower the side of your face to the floor. Arch your body and then roll from the side of your face through your torso, across your hips, and then up onto your thighs. Once you have this, try the same sequence but with a kick up. Keep your body arched throughout the move and then push up with your arms to roll out your body up onto your thighs. 
Using your arms and your upper body strength, you control the drop as you lower the side of your face to the floor. Keep your body arched strong throughout the move. Don't let it collapse, or else you'll risk banging your face, your pelvis, and your knees. For the fish fall from standing, kick up into a handstand and then lower the side of your face to the floor. Arch your back and then roll out through the body up onto the thighs. All falls will impact the hands, the wrists, and the upper body. So take the time to strengthen these parts. Practice the falls gradually so you build up the right muscles and get used to the impact. Before you go, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell icon. That way you'll know whenever a new video is posted. I teach workshops all over the world in slapstick, clown, physical theater, mask performance, and commedia dell'arte. To hire me for a workshop, as a director, or to book one of my shows, please contact me by email. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram.